hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this video is so exciting because february is finally over i'm gonna be emotional march is here spring is on the way it's not getting dark at 3 p.m anymore and i'm actually like i'm starting to feel like myself again i'm starting to feel it i got my own latte i got my books i'm just happy to be here so this video is gonna be my february wrap up and my march at cpr so february was a good reading month finally i've read four books and i've not read four books within a month in such a long time and i'm actually like super happy look at them all the annotations look <laughs> as you can tell like the two of these like were my favorite so this month had so many good reads like three out of these four were five stars like that is good if you ask me and one four star like hello first no i, I can't i can't even with this vlog i read magnolia parks the long way home okay this is the third one in the magnolia park series but the second one in magnolia's and bj's pov and i didn't think that a book can make me feel this sad because the first one and the second one were like okay like they were kind of like sad but they didn't like make me cry but this one i cried i bawled my eyes out in the end because if you read it you know basically magnolia parks follows magnolia and bj on the first third and fifth book and then follows Daisy and Christian and Julian on the second and fourth book it's like Gossip Girl in London like London socialites drama tea everything you've ever need it's like a literary romance I'll probably say I don't know how to explain this but it's like watching a movie it's like being with these characters living their every they feeling their every emotion this is what magnolia parks is like the way jess has wrote these books like how you you even come up with like quotes like this like i don't get it it's just so good like my annotations are just like i don't read and never used to annotate books but i was like i need to annotate this book because it's just too good i can't i did read majority of this in january but i did finish it in february so it's just gonna be counting as a february read so this is a five star five star read and now i can move on to daisy hates the great undoing and then magnolia parks into the dark and get my heart broken again but i felt after that read that i needed a break i could not move on to daisy hates straight away although i kept thinking about it i was like i need a break if, I, if i'm gonna survive this i need to take a break i need something happy something rom commy, something light and that's why i picked up better than the movies by Lynn painter so good it wasn't a five star like i've only have like a few annotations in here but it was such a fast easy read like liz and wes basically it's gonna like you have liz and wes they've been best friends since they were like young they go from like best friends to enemies to best friends to lovers if that makes sense and then another guy what's his name i don't remember his name moves back into the area and goes back to the same school with them too. Liz had a crush on him forever and then she gets help from Wes trying to get this guy and in the process of Wes helping her get this guy a lot of things happen. I loved it. It was so cute. Such a fun read. Liz is obsessed with like rom-com movies and she wishes her life was like a movie hence the title. It was really good. It was such a fun cute little read it is a ya romance but it didn't feel like it was too ya it was really fun it was a new release and i had to buy it i was like i'm really in the mood to read it ali hazelwood i think she's kind of meant to write paranormal romances i'm not gonna lie i read love theoretically and i did not love it it was fun but it wasn't like life-changing there were some moments that i was like i'm bored I'm not gonna lie, like the first 40% of the book, I was gonna be like, okay, where is the story getting? Because obviously you get the world building, everything, because it's a fantasy. So you get the vampires and the werewolves, and then you have Misery, our main girl. She's a vampire. And then her dad kind of like arrange a marriage for her to marry the werewolf Alpha. See, I've never read anything remotely like this. And I was like, am I gonna love it? Am I gonna hate it? 
I'll never know. She's got her reasons to say yes. And it's not just the romance, it's the subplots that go on in this book. Like, they have me hooked. There's a lot of mystery in this book. Um, so I'm not gonna say like the romance was the main thing because it, it wasn't. There was like loads of like other things going on and it just like keep you on edge. Her chemistry with Flo, the alpha, her husband, is unmatched. I love them so much. Like Misery and Lo. I like I had such a book hangover after this one. I was like, I need to read something like this. I need to read something that's gonna like own up to this okay i loved it five out of five bear in mind i judge purely on vibes and how the book makes me feel at the moment not on like if it was a great piece of literature because probably it wasn't but it was the vibes and if you want the vibes this book has the vibes i know so good and i read it five out of five and i don't get why people don't like it it was perfect i'll hate a lot i need a sequel i need more of them the last book of the month which was probably my favorite i'm not gonna lie powerless by lauren roberts there's a reason why people love it so much my annotations like they're everywhere and i would love to experience this book for the first time again because kai the main boy in this book has me giggling checking my feet in the air because right now kai is up here with all my main boys like recent cassian and zayden we're gonna add kai into this because the banter in this book let me tell you this book has no spice it's all like banter romance trials whatever but it's worth every single bit of the hype that it gets so basically you follow Pedin and kai are two main characters Pedin is like from the slums she's poor like everything was taken away from her at a very young age for some reason and she lives with her bestie adina trying to survive and then you have kai our main guy which is like the prince the son of the king the king which by the way is the reason that everything is going on wrong in this book and then you have the elites and the ordinaries obviously the elites have like these powers magic powers whatever and the ordinaries have like no powers our girl Peyton has no powers but she kind of like fools everybody thinking that she's a psychic but she's not and then she gets into these trials after a lot i want to say a lot a lot like hunger games like you got all this like you got three trials and then a lot happened through these short trials and then our two main main loves like get even closer through these trials and like a lot is going on and the ending on this book i was still thinking about it like i can't believe the next one is coming out in july like that's too far away like if you want to read this don't read this now but it around summer because i promise you you're gonna want to know what happens straight away it leaves you in such cliffhanger and so many unanswered questions that you just want to like just want to know what happens and right now i'm just like staring into my own pot like thinking of what might happen like it's so good and the novella is coming out in april but it's about her best friend adina and what she was doing during the time the painting was in the castle and adina was still in the slums but i don't know like if i care that much because all i care about is kai so i don't know i'll probably read it anyway but I just need the second book. This was a six star read. Six stars. Like, it was perfect. Everything that I've got annotated in here, just, I read it back and like, a giggle. So if you're ever in doubt if you want to read this or not, just read it. It's, it's such an easy fantasy to get into. If you want like a who did this to you, I'll kill everyone for you kind of vibe, this is your book. This is your book. And now we move on to my March TBR. As you can tell, I'm very much in my fantasy era. Like, all I want to read is fantasy. It's time for me, as I've said in previous videos, to read Throne of Glass. This is the year that I'm gonna finish the Throne of Glass series. So, I picked up Crown of Midnight. So, I'm currently 100 pages into the book, and we just got introduced to Eileen. Is it Eileen? Eileen? That I know people just go nuts about her. So, I'm just. I'm just so excited. I know this is just the beginning of something amazing, and I actually can't can't wait to get into this and like my goal is to finish it this weekend do you hear that hell and after i finish that i'm gonna read twisted games by anna huang this has been decided already like it's not even 
I'm thinking I'm gonna read this. I am actually gonna read this because I'm gonna buddy read it with my friend and she's just getting into reading and she's like, so this is so cute. She just got all the Twisted series and I'm like, girl, we're gonna buddy read this because I need to get through the Twisted series as well. So give me some motivation. So I'm so excited to finally get through because I don't know why people hate on it so much. I feel like I'm gonna love, love this series and I feel like, I have a feeling that Twisted Hate is gonna be my favorite just because I just, I sense the vibes, the vibes that I like. But this one follows Bridget and Reese. And let me tell you, people go crazy over Reese. He is her bodyguard and she's a princess. And then it all just like unravels from there. It's quite spicy. So it's like a romance, obviously. And I'm so excited to read it next week. And then I've limited myself to four books on my TBR because I don't want to like stress myself out and i know i'm gonna be in a fantasy mode i know so we got assassin's blade which is the prequel technically to the throne of glass series but some people read it third some people read it first and my best friend told me to not read it first but i kind of wish that it did and here's why so basically this follows selena our main girl it follows and it shows her backstory before she got captured and then Throne of Glass starts. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So if I started with that, it would like chronologically. But now, after I finish Crown of Midnight, when everything's gonna start to pick up and like get really good, I have to go back in the past and read about it. So I don't know, I'll probably just mainly suggest that read this first if you start in Throne of Glass because then the story is going to start to get really good and then you're going to have to go back and read this and maybe like forget what happens with the story I don't know, this is how I feel I'm going to but I'm so excited, I'm in such a Throne of Glass mood right now and I'm anything fantasy as I was looking through my shelves and thinking like oh, what am I in the mood to read right now all I could think about was anything fantasy but not just anything fantasy like I want to read Throne of Glass so this is gonna be on my list this March as well this is Air Fire this is the next one from Queen of Shadows and this follows obviously takes us back to like the present and um, if you were to ask me what the series is about I'd be like I don't know I don't know what it's about basically we have Selena our main girl the assassin it just kind of like showed her a lot of like the how she got into this world as she is now in the first book we went past that first book i don't know how to say it with a spoiling anything but basically we follow her journey so far and i feel like i'm actually now getting into the story and the plot of the book i feel like so far it was just world building character building and everything so i'm just so excited because i know this book has dragons but like they're called something different in the series and I can't wait because I have no idea but it's about like is it about fate? is it about dragons? is it about magic? which is what is it about? is it all of them together? that'd be like great gimme this is gonna be my TBR for the month of March and yes does it bother me that Assassin's Blade is still on the old cover? yes very much so but I love the little so that was all that I read in February and that's all I want to read in March. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited that we're getting into spring and then so many new releases are coming in April. I'm actually so emotional. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a like, subscribe and all my social media down below. My book talk, my good reads, everything is linked down below. And I love you. See you in my next video.